rock this party All the girls on the side say And all my fellas on the side say And I'm gonna fly high to the skies Cause we're gonna have a case of the good night Hey guys, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. Today I have my bedroom tour. So originally I was going to do an apartment tour, however, I do have two roommates and I have to be respectful of their privacy as well. So if you want photos of my entire apartment without their bedrooms, of course, in it, you can head down to the link below in the description box with one of my blog posts where I talk about how to make a rented apartment feel like home. So I know you guys are going to say you already took photos of your bedroom for the blog post. Yes, but I feel like photos of just a bedroom is so impersonal and what I love about watching room tour videos or apartment tour videos on YouTube is that the person, the homeowner filming it, usually takes you through as if you're a good friend and shows you like the details of every corner. I think in a photo we look at it and we're like, oh that's great, you kind of capture a whole scene, but it's the video where you guys can really see the details and and see every little bit and piece and get introduced to some items that I love or hear an idea behind or not the idea but the inspiration behind why I decorated something a certain way. So as you guys might know if you follow me on my other platforms or just know me from real life I am moving at the end of July. I'll be moving out alone to a studio apartment. I think it's time for me to just get my own space and do my own thing. My wallet is not happy about that. Um, it's also not going to be happy when I have to furnish and decorate and okay we're not gonna think about that but um, the reason why I bring this up is that apartment's going to be complete I don't want to say completely starting from scratch but a lot of things are gonna start from scratch and you'll see really soon if you haven't already my room is more like modern chic right now I don't really know the interior design term for it basically it's going to be a little bit Morocco inspired I still want things to be white minimalistic colors but I also want bold big accent pieces so my couch is going to be emerald green I'm picturing a colorful huge gallery wall behind it with photos that I took in Morocco it's very different from what I have now and this is because all the furniture in here is kind of a mismatch collection of what I've collected over the years in college and from my dad because he owns a furniture import business. I have a lot of his samples and stuff like that. So you'll notice that the style is very different from my ideal apartment style, but that just makes it more fun for me to decorate in the future. So anyways, I'm going to stop babbling and let's take you on a tour of my bedroom. So when you first walk in, this is the door, and behind the door I just have my towel, my robe, my hair drying towel, um, I have my umbrella, and a grocery bag since plastic bags are no longer allowed in New York City. Super inconvenient for me, but really good for the environment. I also have my yoga mat. It's a black mat with the seven chakras down it. Beautiful. I love it. Um, as well as my boxing gloves. I go to title, in case you guys can tell, and the, that has like boxing wraps, um, resistant bands, and a bunch of stuff for the gym. And under that I have two shoe boxes. This is for my off-white Converse. I have the pair that's like black and white stripes at the bottom with the orange tag. And this is the Converse Kith and Disney collection. It's the black one with all the Minnie Mouses, not Minnie, sorry, Mickey Mouses at the bottom. So moving over to the right, this is where I keep the majority of my shoes and my mirror and some bags I can grab on the go. Random purses for going out, running errands, um, and then just for convenience sake, I keep my everyday belt here. Um, yeah, so that's here. And then the shoes, okay. So I own, I think, 86, seven. Don't quote me on that, I'm probably miscounting. I tend to stress by shoes and it's kind of collected. Unfortunately, I don't really wear down my shoes a lot, so, some of these are like literally eight years old and still thriving. And then every day I get dressed and I stand here. Hey guys. And I check out my outfit before I go. Go over here and open. <laughs> this is a nightmare, guys. Hold on. All right. Um, so this is my other <laughs> shoe collection. As you can see, it's kind of a mess in here. Have a bunch of sandals and slides here. Okay, some more slides. Come here, some other sneakers. Some other sneakers. Some other sneakers. Some other sneakers. I have my C by Chloe boots in here, my running shoes or workout shoes, 
snow boots, over the knee, tall, um, heeled boots. And then here I have a pair of pink wedges and a pair of really sparkly shoes. I think these are bridal, but like I love sequin shoes. Here, I'll show you guys. I love sequin shoes, so I had no shame in buying it for no reason whatsoever. I have not even worn them yet. <laughs> I think this was also a stress purchase because I was angry at a boy. Yeah, so um, as you can see, my dating life has been really successful with <laughs> all these shoes. Over here, I have all my scarves. This is like a multi-ring holder. I won't even try. These are all my business slacks. Who knew that smart casual will be a thing and I'll barely wear them. I have this really cute vest from Desert Ball that, to be honest, doesn't really fit me anymore, but I still love it. I just can't button it. Um, all my blazers, and then light jackets, leather jackets. Why is this sticking out? This is my favorite one. It's a white one from Sandro. And then I have also, oh, my All Saints. Love that. My going out jacket, skiing stuff, snowboarding stuff, um, back there, pea coats, and the whole thing. At the top there, it's my robe, my sweats and sweaters and sweatpants, a bunch of pajamas, three, four scarves here. They're all the very long, like, blanket scarves. Um, I actually have, a, I have another one that's like teal and blue polka dot that I loaned Rebecca, so she actually has that right now, but usually that's stuffed in here. And then I have these two pashminas, I think, that I got from Morocco. Ignore that. Um, <laughs> I have a stuffed minion back here. That's the one that my big and I got matching minion dolls. And then a mini iron board and a mini steamer, and you can see the iron back there. So that's a kind of a mess. Every time I try to organize it, it collapses, so I don't even bother anymore. Those are where I store all my hats, and that's all my swimwear, and some Halloween costumes. As you can see, there's a unicorn horn. But this is the other side, and down here I have, these are like all my little toiletries, my nail stuff. I don't even paint my own nails anymore. These are all like, go. I get powder. But band-aids for a sleep kit. These are all my face masks. Like, I don't even use them. I don't know why I even have this many. Um, and then I have random like shower caps. Like three, four sunscreens. Do I even use sunscreen? No, I'm terrible. Um, and then down here is all, I have like a hair dryer, like 10 different curling wands and flat irons. Two bags of scrunchies. I went on a scrunchie binge one day. Um, this is from an event I went to. Cotton pads and the rest are all, as you can see, SantaCon outfit, Halloween outfit. This is not, <laughs> this is my shame corner. Oh, and up here I have extra makeup wipes and this set from Peter Thomas Roth in the holidays, a face mask. Yeah, this is like my shame closet. I don't like to talk about it a lot. Usually I'm very organized, but moving over to the next closet. Okay, so that's all storage, camera, ring light. Yeah, these are purses, blankets, extra sheets, I don't really know. All storage, yeah, all that, except for these two. These are purses and stuff. Um, over here I have where all my skirts are. So you can see they're all like tiered and layered up. And then I have some shirts that require to be hanged, as well as like dress shirts over here sweaters. A lot of these things have two or three things on the hanger because I own too many clothes and I don't have enough hangers. Um, you'll kind of see that like like here, two dresses on a hanger. But yeah, these are all these are all rompers and then these are all like dresses from summer all the way through spring and the winter. Um, like sweater dresses back here. These also have like two, three dresses on them. Down here, shame. Luggage, storage, backpack boxes, ski stuff, um, my white comforter for the summertime. This is all a mess. We pretend this doesn't exist. But moving over here, okay, so now you can see, yeah, there's a bunch of dresses here too. Um, these are all my evening wear, as if I have any events. These are my old hair extensions. My hair's not black anymore. It's actually very blonde despite the lighting showing it not being very blonde. Um, but yeah, I used to wear those a lot. And then here's just my laundry pile. I've got like a bunch of equipment back here for the ring light, my tripod and stuff, drying rack. That's all detergent, towels, and like laundry bags for when I do laundry. Now we get to the center part when you first walk in. So I have this large 
five by seven area rug that probably needs to be deep cleaned. Um, I have my laundry pile here. This is my snowboard. I think you guys have met Lucky on my Instagram. Looks like this. My boots are also in there, but um, back here is just some bags for donation. This is my pile of clothes that I briefly wore that can be worn again. I don't put those away because in New York City, if you go outside, like it's touched the air or touched something. It's not really dirty yet, but it doesn't need to be washed and I don't want to mix it with clean clothes. So that stays there. Have a little table. I always put my purse I use every day. This is my good old black Rebecca Minkoff one. It's probably also really dirty. I should clean that. But I leave that there so it's a quick grab and go whenever I'm like going out. This pulls out to be a full bed. So I have friends who stay over and they often sleep here. It can fit two small girls, but usually I like to just put one person here. And this is my gallery wall. So I have a New York City map of the metro system. Then we have this one that says New York in the palm of your hands. Oops, there we go. New York in the palm of your hands. We'll work for a Chanel. Every day I'm sparkling. And then a girl in Louboutin staring at the city with shopping bags. So I get all of these from the Winter Village markets in, I think, Union Square and Bryant Park. I think that's, one of them's like Melzy illustrations. The other one is, I honestly forgot, Verrier handcrafted. I'll link them down below. I think they have like Instagram handles and stuff. But love that gallery wall. That still will come with me. I don't know what's going to happen. But also up here, that's a painting I did end of senior year of college. It's New York City skyline blended into Taipei, blended into Pittsburgh, and it's a tattoo on my back that I got in Colombia. So next to this, I have this one beautiful piece. I don't know if you can see. Let me angle it. You can see the details on this. I got this from a Williamsburg art show. Absolutely loved how it came out. She had beautiful pieces, so I purchased that. And this is my miniature book stand slash nightstand, along with two empty boxes that I need and my work bag that's usually like, it's usually propped over here and I grab it every day, but right now we're all working from home, so that sits here. So on top, I just have the essentials. There's a cute little photo cube here, Polaroids I took of the city. Um, I keep it on my favorite, which is this one in Dumbo. Uh, this is from, <laughs> it's a, what's it called, Kendama? It's from a marketing conference that we had. This is a little elephant my friend got me from, ooh, I almost dropped it, from India. And then a thing of selenite because it keeps me calm. I'm not huge into crystals, but I just love crystals in general. Like, I'm not crazy about it. I'm not Spencer Pratt level. I just think they're pretty. And this, of course, holds all my earrings. It's a shit show in there. Oh, you can't see because I put it back, but there's a shit ton of earrings in there. So the studs go on top and the other ones go in. Next, I have a layer of books. So this is my sketch pad. Bunch of books here. A lot of poetry books. Um, yeah, and then my leather bound journal and Polaroid camera. So that's that. This is my utility bin. Yeah, we don't talk about this. This is another shame drawer. I have a lot of shame drawers. And last but not least, we have my prized possessions with one of my Gucci boxes just for display. This is a pair of shoes that was from ASOS. They have a black pair as well, and it's my favorite thing. They didn't ship to the United States. I literally had to, like, had to ask my aunt to watch out for this, and I shipped it over to my grandparents in Taiwan, and then she picked it up and brought it back for me. So a lot of trouble for this shoe, and it was the last one in my size. <laughs> I've barely worn it. It's probably going to get brought out for, like, bridal shower. Honestly, I don't know. It's going to be for, like, special occasions only. So, yeah. That is the bookshelf next to it, and of course, my dirty slippers that look like my dog. I have a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, in case you guys are wondering. But So that's that. And now, where the magic happens. I'm totally kidding. There's literally been zero boys on this bed ever. <laughs> um, so usually in the summertime, this is the same exact bedding, but in white. However, this past summer, I left it black because I kept dropping shit on it, so I figured black kind of hides that. But... I have my typical girl stack of, see how many pillows I have? Two pillows. These two are the actual ones for sleeping, but it's like a body pillow that I hug because I'm lonely AF. Just kidding. And recently I put my little childhood bear up here. She's not always here, but this is Chippy. That's my Prada Marfa sign that I painted once because I was literally bored. 
I guess. And I also am a religious Gossip Girl follower. I've watched the show eight times, front to back, and I needed to have that. So yeah, this is my bed. It's my headboard. It's a queen. I have a full. It's sticking out. Whatever. I'm ratchet. I'm just going to admit that. All right, now for the dresser. As you guys saw, this directly um, faces my bed. Ooh, bed. Dresser, yeah. So I have my clock that is always like three, four minutes early, uh, not early, fast, because I'm notoriously late and I need to pretend that like I'm really late. I have this quote up. I think I also got this from a market. Um, don't remember when, but the corners are kind of yellowing, ew. And here's my countertop. So as you can see, I'm not wearing heels right now. I'm 5'3", almost-ish, and I just hit here, so like, uh, this hits like, I don't know, my collarbone. So it's actually really easy for me to do makeup here. Um, it makes it easier because I save space and I don't need like a whole vanity. But we'll start from right to left. So I have a perfume problem. I like to choose a perfume based on like my mood for the day or my outfit or my event. So instead of committing to a bunch of big bottles, I commit to a lot of tiny ones. So the big bottles I have is Black or is it Black Orchid? Yes, Black Orchid by Tom Ford. Glossier's back here. Chloe Love Story. This is my signature scent. I know a lot of my friends have always been asking me what I wear every day. Back here is my jewelry stand. I'll kind of show you the back. Oh, I wow, am I blind? I recently just got this set from Hermes and it's their garden set, I think. And my favorite one so far is Mon Lee. This is my jewelry rack. I have a bunch of Bracelets here, necklaces there. Um, I don't wear that many, what's this called, custom jewelry anymore. These are very heavy. And they're also very big statements that I just knocked something over. Yes, oop. But yeah, I have a bunch of bangles here. And this is where I put all, most of my Alex and Ani bracelets. Then down here, I have all my skincare. So I have a jade roller back here. This is a brush swatcher. We have more skincare here. I use the Fresh Lotus Young Youth Youth Preserve Youth Preserve Face Cream. I love this. Not a fan of the fact that it's now like forty eight dollars. What? Why? For the majority of this area is my makeup, and also leave it to me to take something that's meant for office stuff like pens and scissors, and put eyeshadow and makeup in it. Um, here's all my eyeshadow palettes that I use the most. This is the Natasha Denona, pst, Natasha Denona green brown palette. It looks like this. Do you guys recognize it? I love this palette so much. My ColourPop Caffeine Lights So Jaded palette here, as well as my ooh, Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour palette. And then back here, I have the box set of. Jack and Hill Morphe's The Vault. And this mirror, ready, lights up with a ring light for me to do my makeup because I am just a basic bitch. And that's basically the top of my dresser. Jewelry, mess. I think I keep my watch and most of my things I wear, like all the rings I wear every day in this pouch though. And this is another makeup drawer, mess. Like I actually use this every day. This should, This is usually up here. And then to spare you guys the details, I rush through this portion where I basically show you guys my four very, very overstuffed drawers of clothes that I probably should start donating because I wear maybe like 30% of. Um, down here is where I keep my three giant Stuart Weitzman box boots, boots box, but I can't English, sandals, boots, and then my gray Thailands. So yeah, I keep these down here because there's really nowhere else to put them and it keeps me from like actually kicking stuff under the dresser that I can't get. Moving over to this corner of the room, don't mind my broken blind. I broke that like a week ago and I'm really pissed, but it's fine, I'm moving out soon. Over here is my TV, sitting on the bed. Hey, you guys can see me. Um, this is a 36 inch, I don't know, it's like a smart TV. Remotes over there. Um, I just have a hodgepodge of shit down here. What did I drop? This is why I can't have nice things. Great speaker. I highly recommend any of Harman Kardon's products. TV antenna. I already demolished that. I need to reset it. Um, Louboutins. And then this real real bag has a bunch of um, stuff that I thrifted, which is two other pairs of Louboutins. 
and one pair of Oscar de la Renta shoes. So getting off the floor, this is my little reading corner. We have Larry. Hey Larry, Larry the Llama. Um, bunch of books, I have Victoria McGrath, my favorite influencer, fashion rules. The Museum of uh, YSL, very special photos of a museum that you really can't take photographs in. Thousand Dresses, this is Vogue's um, 125 Years Edition, a little at the really weird arm, TBT to Gigi's arm, can we help you? And this is the book I got from the McKittrick Hotel after Sleep No More, one of my favorite productions ever, so my artsy side I guess. My blanket, another Fat Fit Fun box, and then up here I have a little airy zodiac thing that I really liked framed. That is the hello tattoo on my wrist. Um, for those of you who are wondering, I am going to do a tattoo video, but it stands for perspective, stability, and growth slash perseverance. It's supposed to be a crossroads, triangle, and a mountaintop, or a mathematical carrot sign, because I'm a nerd. I also love dream catchers, and I don't know where I found this, but really loved how simple yet, like, intricate it was. Then over here, right next to it, I have, did I just kick? Oh, sorry, Larry. Over here I have my little candle collection, Yankee Candle had a pop-up, so I put my dog on it. Um, my mug from Anthropology on a coaster, my little light-up sign. This thing, if you hit it, lights random colors, but I won't do it now. And my roommate, one of my roommates got me this cute unicorn succulent holder. And here's my vase, vase, however you want to say it, flowers. I buy myself flowers every week. Flowers make me so happy. I love seeing them in a room, and I think it just really brings joy to a room. I don't know. Then here I have my birth date candle, highly recommend. So now we are next to the bed and this is my little workstation. Um, this is a paddle that my best friend from middle school made, Amanda. She and I made paddles for each other. We didn't have paddles at Carnegie Mellon and so she thought of making me one. And over here is my workstation. So I put all my like home clothes on this chair. They're all hidden under, you don't need to see that. Um, so just a normal office chair down there again, wires. And so I got this little quadrant. That one's fallen so many times that look at this. What is this monstrosity? Ew. But yeah, I have two laptops. This is my work laptop over my normal one because we're all working from home right now. Vitamin stash, I don't forget. Pens, paint brushes, tissues. These are three different sunglasses I have in here. I have more sunglasses in there little Shanghai milk jar where I usually keep a flower or so, coloring book, my lily planner, this is one of those blind date with a book from Barnes and Nobles I never opened, phone, podcast journal, airpods, um, art bag, vitamin box back there from care of, and yeah that's kind of the top of this and then down here it's just paint, a bunch of books that I have not read, so yeah, that is basically the grand tour of my room. I'll let you guys see it from this corner. All right, that's it. That's the end of the room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Hit subscribe and the notification bell. I will be uploading a lot more regularly, I promise. Been a little bit slow on that. 2020's been a shit show. But yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget to read the description box for more information about my apartment. I know the room size is huge. I talk about it down below, as well as links to my blog, my podcast, and all of my social media so you guys can stay up to date and engage with me and request videos. Merci beaucoup, and I hope to see you soon. Au revoir.